we go. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First my Drakir, who only see we are starting soon. Uh, wait, what? Okay, that should not be the case. Uh, let me... Let me oh, that was check. it. Uh, now it's gone. And now I say Discord. Hmm. Okay. And is it fixed now? Nope. Okay, Wait. that should not be the case at all. Wait, hold on. Are we having any damn issue that happens to us after it crashed? Uh, looks like it. Hmm. What? That that should not be the case. Well, I had to restart my computer since it was having an audio issue, but that should not have an effect on this. Uh, hmm. Hey, this going on? Okay. This game started off well, but I just spoke to Hillian that uh, if we're gonna crush more and more, that we might need to abandon it, but hopefully we would need to, but... Hmm. Now it feels like the game is shelling us. Okay, let me turn that off and try to look around for something. Okay, okay now I see us. Okay, maybe if I move this here and then I start up again, or not up, but bring it up again. Anything different? Nope. Okay, so this is starting soon again. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know what the hell is going on then. Let's see, maybe if I... Yeah, let's be honest, it's going to be impossible for me to co-commentate if I can't see the game. Actually, let's... Oh, actually, no, that won't do anything since that won't give sound. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I... <laughs> hmm. Okay, I guess we're doing Return to Monkey Island instead then, and hoping that, well, actually, let... what if I just exit the game and start it up again? Try that, yeah, if that works. Let's see, and this this isn't the disc version of the game, this is a Steam version. Of... So, yeah, any problems with the crashes and such can be laid on Steam's feet. Okay, still on, is it working now? Nope. We went, we went back to starting soon again. Okay, I don't know what the hell and is going on back. then. It like, seems like it is the game that is causing this. Uh, let let yeah. me start up. Uh... It's like the game refuses to be screen shared Ooh, to me. Yeah, but it worked perfectly before, so why do... Okay, yeah. um, let me start up Return to Monkey Island, see if that does anything different. You can it see works all of this? perfectly. Monkey Island works perfectly. Okay, I don't. Hmm. Let's try it one more time. Maybe that has shaken something. Listen, what, what? Four apps are using your microphone. The fuck is going on with that? That should not be the case. Uh, let's see. What is using it then? Uh, Discord is using it. Yes. OBS is using it. Uh. Oh, okay, that makes sense. VC face and all of that. Hmm. Okay, let me try starting up commandos one more time. I don't want to... I don't want to end and start a stream already. It's doing that again. Okay, I don't know what the hell is going on then. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This is a concern for before we only need to restart to make it work of that crush. That was fine to a level, uh, but Yeah, I had to restart my computer twice to fix it. Yeah. But hmm. it doing this before we even start a stream? Yeah, I don't know what's I do want to keep uh, continue streaming it when it wants to freaking work. But yeah, something is clearly messing up. Hmm. Yeah, like, it, it, hopefully it shows up on BSC as fine. For, I, I, 
when it does this, I can see still us, our speech bar moving up without a problem. It's just, instead of showing the game and you and me, it just shows we're starting soon this time. Yeah. Uh, it, could, it could be because there's another new version of OBS. I haven't installed that, but it might... It might be that they caused something in the old version to break or something. Uh, Maybe. Oh, and I forgot to cut out something here. Okay, yeah, I guess we're just going on to Monkey Island then instead. Uh. Yeah, they're planning to save this one for the evening, but... Let's see, return to Monkey Island number four. Uh, change the game. Yeah, sorry for this, folks, but I think you all know that. Uh, yeah, it is a 20 year old game. Yeah. When the games okay. are very old, they can get unpredictable. Let's see. Up. Hmm, I'll have to look around if GOG possibly has. Uh, hmm. Uh, possibly has a version of it because they tend to have the more stable versions between them and Steam. But uh, yeah, <laughs> return to Monkey Island it is then. Yep, yeah, it reminds me. Apparently soon, if not already, Skybrains mm. is coming to GUG. Uh, Sky what? Skyrim. Oh, oh Skyrim. Uh, okay, chat program has an update. Let's skip that for now as well. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, uh, no, not new game. But I'm... <laughs> I'm being annoyed, so I think getting a bit flustered with things. Uh, let's see. This was the last one. Uh, yep, it was eight do minutes you later. Where we were? Uh, let's do the reminder. We know what happened, but <laughs> it's fun just to have him recap. Kind of. Yeah. But remind me a little. Okay. So the secret of Monkey Island was in a safe at the voodoo shop, and I was looking for the five golden keys that would open it. I wasn't sure where LeChuck or Captain Madison were, but I was sure they were up to something. Elaine was setting up disaster relief for earthquake victims. There was a lot to think about, but I was keeping my to-do list up to date, and the main thing was finding those golden keys. Yeah, that to-do list is also nice of them to have added in. I think we said that in the first one. And, oh, now only now I see this up here, still in business. Uh, speaking of to-do list, yeah, get the five keys, Whitey's key, old Mr. Smith, Bella Fisher's, uh, the Bermuda Island key, and the Terra Island key. And uh, get a map of the sea. Well, we know where to get maps. Still in business. We'll just see if they still do business with us. Uh, hey, Wally. What's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. <laughs> uh... Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Yeah, of course. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Patterned map? We missed yeah, that. Never seen one of those before. Okay. Also, how the hell did you know where the secret of Monkey Island is? Or do you have some sort of magic quill that <laughs> makes maps to hidden treasures? Hey, Wally. Or he maybe he's a very good researcher? What was the deal with all the crazy maps on Monkey Island? I made the map to the secret, and a darn good one, I might add. But what other people do with it after purchase is not my legal responsibility. Did we miss something? That, were there supposed to be a bunch of maps scattered around on Monkey Island or something? Hmm. Unsure. Didn't you tell me the map said the secret was right across the street? That would have saved me a lot of time. Sorry, but I was all NDA'd up on that one. <laughs> Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. And maybe you should also charge a note. I... Be careful. <laughs> The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. 
Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. Okay, he's just going to I... pretend he didn't hear that for the sake of his therapy. Oh dear, yes. I, I was talking, uh, uh, before you started talking, I was to ask, uh, is Bermuda a cool pun or something? And, well... Yep. Uh, 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 yeah, I can guess why Wally doesn't <laughs> ask for payment from, uh, <clears throat> from Guybrush, because he knows he's going to have to screw someone over to get that payment, and he'd rather not have blood money. That or he actually pays, and I just forgot to add that addition. Hmm. Let's see, Whitey. Hi. Great boy. How was your search? I know that you voice. You spent a lot of time looking out your window. I'll watch the locksmith. Maybe somebody comes with a golden key someday, you know? Anything is possible. I'll keep an eye on the fish shop, too. There is a mystery here. A lot of fish, but no boat. Uh, I think those are flying fish, judging by all of the movement in there. <laughs> Did oh, yeah. you mean what you said about a curse? You still gonna look for the keys if it's true? Of course. Then it does not matter. <laughs> Good point. Okay. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Uh, you were going to say? I... I never heard people eating flying fish. Hmm. Can't say either. Let's see that. Welcome to the Cod's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block. And the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys <laughs> oh, used course. to be the pirate leaders? It's me! Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. That was the phone getting a message. Sorry about that. Also, uh, yeah, let's add on some. Went one, two, three, four, five because of the technical issues and such. Uh, so this is where they ended up. <laughs> yeah, that, they look a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, what the? Um, there, did you see that? I saw something, but I didn't see what exactly. Um, he used a bluefish as a balloon. <laughs> or try to. Uh, the shop seems nice. If by nice you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't you? <laughs> but I have to admit, it does look rather nice for uh, what you usually see from fish shops from this era. Yeah, it would probably still stink as all high hell, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely better than the other fish shop from the uh, the game we had to abandon. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. Ew. These are what? tremendous. What are they? We don't actually know. Found them at the bottom of the shipment. Okay. <laughs> it's what was that? I think they were supposed to be yeah, blowing up the blowfish again. Or something. Oh, it was Damn, uh, I, was, I thought it was you at first. <laughs> I, I think the sound is playing without the animation or something. Or we're just not uh, looking, or we're just not seeing it. Well, they look great, but I don't have a wheelbarrow. Are these eels? Hey, fish. Very tasty, but don't let them get around your neck. Hey, Il. What are these pointy ones? Slime heads. Some folks like to cut off the pointy parts before eating, but that's a personal choice. So a lot of freaking fish, you know, a lot of different fish. He's a handsome devil. First fish I ever caught. Couldn't bear to eat it. Of course, I was only a lad of three at the time. 
Oh, oh, he's yawning. That's what that noise is. All right, that, that, that explains it. Do nice shark. Shark. don't let the size fool you. The coral fire shark is the most dangerous shark of all. That one took down 17 good sailors and three dinghies before we even reeled them in. I find that doubtful. <laughs> Actually, I could see it being a bit true. If they, if it was a result of them crushing into each other, <clears throat> or into a rock while trying to chase it and lose him in that way. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> nice crap. Fought him for 11 hours. Sorely wanted to eat him, <laughs> but it weren't crab season at the time. Also, I'm, I'm presuming most of these tales are, well, just tall fisher tales. That, that, that one was definitely a bit more, way more taller than the other one. But the other one, you could figure out that there was some truth to it, just not in the way he explained. But this one, yeah, that, that, this, this one it just feels like a bold lie. And Oscar just woke up on the bed behind me. Flounders sure are funny looking fish. But it was Oscar. You say that now, but wait till you're alone and sinking in a fierce northern squall, battling to land the beastie in time to use him to patch the hole in your boat. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely bullshit. I get the feeling the worst story is going to be about for the freaking goldfish here. Oh dear. What are these blobby guys? Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. <sighs> I get the feeling we're, we're going to have to trick him into swallowing something whilst he's yawning or something. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. She's not for sale at any price. She's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. <laughs> Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Let's think about as much as the fish, probably. Yeah. Well, you guys fish. Mm. Have you ever heard of someone called Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher. Aye, she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a consummate angler she was. But what? Good at fishing. <laughs> she had a secret fishing spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing mm. trip. No one knows the location, though it is rumored that she left a clue as to its whereabouts. Okay. <clears throat> So we know right. where we likely can find the key then. We just need to, well, find the spot. <laughs> Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? No, I don't think so. Not to my memory. Just thought I'd check. <laughs> he went with the blowfish again. Is he using that thing as an inhaler or something? <laughs> Did you guys feel the earthquake? That we did. At first, I thought it were just me stomach complaining about me breakfast. Aye, we all thought that. Hell, stop burping! I'm hunting for the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> the secret? Mm. What a prize! I know! They say the pirate what holds the secret can never be sunk. That the wind always fills his sails. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, so to speak. <laughs> well, if they open up a frying shop as well, they could, well, double things up. Can I join the Oh, chums? dear. I feel as though I should warn you that, this being the more casual mode of the game, participation in the chums <laughs> is strictly for fun. There'll be no reward whatsoever for doing it successfully. Totally useless activity. Got it. Can I join anyway? Well... <laughs> I promise to keep it semi-secret. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows That's what tales. a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. 
Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Okay, this, this sounds a bit like uh, that uh, manic monkey mode or something from Curse of Monkey Island, where they, they had you choose, well, where they had you choose between an easier mode and a full mode, like we had here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nice of them to, to tell them, of course, but I get the feeling this would be required in the quote-unquote hard modes. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we, we can do that as a side thing. For now, let's just check here. hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. <sighs> Don't think we've seen bloater. What are those fish up there called? Bloaters. Let's not ask why. Well, there we go. Yeah, also, manatee and whales are not fish. Yeah. I'm sure they will count as... Uh, uh, well, I guess you could encounter them when trying to fish. <clears throat> True. <clears throat> hmm. But I, I get the feeling... Uh, I, had a th I had some thoughts about where in the timeline this game might be. And I get the feeling that uh, since, well, Guybrush is narrating it, that uh, he is fl flubbing things a bit and adding in things from later in the timeline, because uh, LeChuck is still a zombie, and... Well, he wasn't that uh, for the... Hmm. In, in Escape from Monkey Island, he could freely swap between what version he was, but after that he was... Well, he was back to being a zombie, so... Hmm. Yeah, this could take place. Hmm. I, I'm, so I'm leaning way. either. I'm leaning either after Tales. <clears throat> or actually, no. It might hmm. actually be a tale for. Here's my reason for wanna say after Tales. For in Tales, they mentioned several times that no one knew the voodoo lady's name. In this one, she said her name. True. So if this was before Tales or all the others. Yeah, then we would have known the name already in Tales and other games. True, but uh, I, I think a part of it is that just Guybrush is an unreliable narrator and that he's just flooding things in here and there in the story to make it more interesting. Yeah, we, we don't recall him doing that in the second game already. <laughs> yeah. Poor That's pirates. Caught that one trying to escape. Are, aren't all fish caught trying to escape? Or that, is he, does he mean that he was literally crawling up the freaking wall to try and get out here? I think so. It, it, yeah, it might be so far as would he be paid like that. Excellent, Marlin. Aye, that ain't real. It's a promotional item from a local yak butter fellow. But it looks nice enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy who was being uh, a pain in the ass at the scum bar. Oh dear. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for burpin contests. Care to join us? Don't no. I do. So that's what they're up to. <gasps> they're not using it as an inhaler. Yeah, technically they are using it as inhalers. <laughs> uh, bro, <laughs> guy brush, wrong end. <laughs> wrong end, guy brush. Hi, <laughs> well done. I hereby declare us all the winner. <laughs> that was a very, very distressed looking blowfish there for a moment. <laughs> Wait. What the hell? Did it just move there? Or was that just me? Right. It, it, it's still a, it's still a freaking live. Uh, 
<laughs> it was blinking and wiggling. It... Otis. What? Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. That's what you've said every time. Okay, what did you get arrested for this time? Jailbreak? What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business. Applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. Uh... Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No, Stan got sentenced to hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. <laughs> Fully what he deserves, though we're probably going to need to break him out there. <laughs> uh. Are you worried oh the rest of the building okay then? Yes. You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. Yeah, someone probably told the, the locksmith to stop doing that. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about her jailbreak all those years. What? Oh. Oh, of course, the, the museum curator and the, that's Car well, the Carla's previous place. He wants to get a witness to corroborate his, his story since the, <laughs> the guy doesn't believe Guybrush for a second. I'd like you to tell the oh. museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. <laughs> Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Two, no earthquakes. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't think the earthquake is going to care for your rules. Okay. Are we in trouble with you? Probably are. Hi there. Hi. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Of course. <laughs> when she was younger, she was probably called the Younger Miss Smith. <laughs> Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? One. She left it to me in her well. Okay, so that was actually foreshadowing that uh, her mother was looking for golden keys and such. And also, hello, that's the that's the lure there. Yeah, wait. Do you see the tape on the wall with five keys? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, did it? They've been, the keys? Hinting at this. <laughs> They've been hinting at this from the start. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. That old thing? Really? Uh, would you consider my firstborn child in exchange? <laughs> I'll cut you in for a 20% share of the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not even sure how that would work. Listen, if it means that much to you, just take it. Yes! That was, was easy. Surprisingly easy and uncomplicated. Don't get used to it. Life's not like that very often. <laughs> yeah. You will be mine, Golden Keys. And yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you the chums? If I were, would I tell you? Yeah, probably not. Have we looked at that at before? The end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Okay, I think we've seen that before. And, yeah, that was really freaking easy. <laughs> hmm. Let's check in with Carla. And possibly Elena. Or not. <laughs> I wonder what they're waiting for. Yeah, I don't think this is... <laughs> we could probably stay here. Oh, oh hello, that's the, the lookout. What are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. Okay. I think they're going to be a bit too busy to be wanting to deal with Guybrush. So, yeah, let's go look at the museum. Oh. Crime. 
<laughs> of course, since we stole the stupid thing. The eye patch disguise. The is that the museum is closed. <laughs> no it's kidding! It's the museum of pirate lore, but it says it's closed. The light's off. Looks like they're closed. <laughs> also, how freaking thick is this tape? Like, just, That's not just the height, but look at how just wide that stuff is. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, that is tape. I, I, thought it was, I thought it was one of those, you know, you know, the you see before a train track to stop cars from driving onto the train track. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's check out the other areas that we can find here. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. I was go. Just thought of something. Did they ever say that we are in the Caribbean? I think so. All right, then, then, then this either still don't make sense. This building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. Uh, guy, but you know the answer to that already. Uh. <laughs> Stands previously vessels. Yeah, it is definitely a previously now. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. Okay. The, the picture look. It looks like he's on the run or something. I think they've captured Stan quite well, actually. They did a nice job with the coat. Don't tell me that if, if we move the picture around, the pattern on the coat stays in put just like it normally does. That'd be curious. And yeah, we're definitely not getting a ship here. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. Is there anything else Wait, is, useful here? Is this a mooring? Yeah, this was the dock, and there was... Hmm. We can definitely scratch this one off the docket. <coughs> oh, come on. Let's see, can we stumble across anything here? I remember when this place used to be wall-to-wall -wall with sword training gyms. No, there's nothing but trees. Progress. <laughs> okay, tip. Okay, that was that was cute. That was where we found the sword training gym. Can we get something similar if we go up here? Meat Hook's museum is gone. So is the cable to his island. That's just as well, given the worldwide rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shortage. <laughs> okay, that is just cute. Hmm. Yeah, we still have the sea monkey for as long as that will survive under anything. Let's see. It. Okay, he has the lure in it on his hat. But that is all side stuff, so... Let's see. We have a bunch of stuff. We have one of the keys, at least. We have a picture of Stan for whatever reason. Hmm. Can we still do... I think it's out of juice. Never mind then. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if we can go into the mansion. Probably take people off. But we can probably use that map to head out to the other areas. Um. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. Okay, then. First off... Let's actually re return this. Thanks. It looks like you tried to cook the book <clears throat> instead of the recipe. Oh, well. I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. <laughs> we probably could have done that as well, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I would definitely not want to see how Guybrush would try to, well, cook the books, so to speak. A.K.A. try, well, to fudge the numbers in well, accounting and all of that. He would so, mess it so up. So him cook before it wasn't that disastrous, at least. Except we sabotage the food. It's a lot of work being governor. Still that flourish. 
Like, does he hold every conversation like this? Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. Yeah, that really won't help much. Say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Okay. At least Elaine is now on Scurvy Island. <laughs> yeah, let's take the shortcut. There. <coughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I expected we had to onboard. Well, uh, yeah, this works. Let's see. We have Melee, Scurvy, and Terror Island. Uh, and bare bones, really. <laughs> take a look at the. Do you see the sign of Terror Island? Yeah. Is Did it bleed onto the map or something? Or whoever drew it stopped spilling ink in terror? Uh, could be. Let's go to Scurvy. I think this was in... I think Scurvy Island was in Monkey Island 2, along with Fat Island, which would probably be somewhere around here-ish. But it's not important now. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it. <sighs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. <laughs> okay, that was cleverer than I thought it was going to, but Wally's ah, deep shit. Scurvy Island. <laughs> this is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. Okay, growing, uh, growing anti-scurvy fruit on this island called Scurvy Island. <laughs> okay, that's a good little one. Yeah, but yeah. It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet plumed point and snip bird. I didn't know Elaine was into woodworking. Whoa, had me fooled. <laughs> oh. How did I not notice the bird? <laughs> I, I was focused on the lime on the sign, so I missed the bird. Lime on the sign, new elf on the shelf. It says, no, the those are books. Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. Staple. <clears throat> Yeah, that is a damn lot of... Guy first Wait. stay away from the freaking trees, William. Wait, something's off. Uh, is that a big rock or is that a bird sitting on the map? Bird rock and... I'm pretty sure lime trees don't look like that. That's where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. Guy first, do you need a... <laughs> <laughs> to be told about the birds and the bees again, and then again, probably I best not. over the edge one time. Good thing Elaine knows CPR. <laughs> oh, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. He's not completely wrong. Dear. I swim there sometimes. Okay, you're making this sound <laughs> like your vacation home, Guy Rush. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. Elaine, are you decent? Hello? 
Okay, not much of a camp or HQ. Idol of many hands. Pirates used to have to steal this from Elaine to prove themselves. No, oh yeah, that's that what thing. They told me when they made me do it. See, and also, are you did? I did not expect that to come out from uh, Guy Brows. Uh, Guy Brows. <laughs> Guy Brush. <laughs> Guy Blouse. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a note as there. I, br I said browse. Yeah, but you <laughs> say blush. <laughs> I, I said uh, Guy Blouse, like one of those shirts. <laughs> yeah, I said browse. Uh, I wonder if someone uh, would make that into an actual internet browser, Guy Brush, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Oh, don't tempt them. Don't tempt them. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. Uh, browser specifically made for pirating stuff and failing at it. Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? Oh yeah, it is hollow. What? Okay. Uh, why do I have the feeling... Uh... No... It doesn't fit. It, yeah, it definitely looks like he's running away from something or someone. But it, yeah, what happened to the other half? Yeah, there's a note on the table. I pinched a yak with it once. And then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. <laughs> uh, guy brush. Hi, I'm working due east of the lake and due south of camp today. Okay, east of lake, <laughs> south of camp. Okay, so about there. That explains why we could select everywhere to go there. Hi. Hi. I got the note you left me. The what? It said where you were working today. Oh, that. I wasn't sure you were coming. But I'm glad you found me. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? There was a complication. Isn't there always? A big, heavy, True. rectangular complication with five keyholes and a secret inside. Well, that sounds daunting. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. <laughs> How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. Okay. Are we going to have to find that stupid bird? <laughs> also, uh, I guess uh, Elaine didn't heed your warning of beware of the seagulls. Yeah. And also, that sound rather odd to say that, so I... But I, I'm a little bit 50-50 if -50, I believe her at the moment. Yeah, she has... <laughs> their relationship is stable at the moment, but they have had their moments where Elaine would probably kill Guybrush. <laughs> yeah. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know, I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a really? small one to fit all the information on. How small? Do, do we need those lenses just to be able to read it? Really, bullet points that are limes. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. Yeah, I like limes decently, or at least lime drinks. Yeah, I, I have eaten limes, but 
Oh dear, I ended up uh, just squeezing it into a glass of water instead. <laughs> what if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. No. <laughs> no. 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 I'd rather kill him before I let Stan help us. I hear these can help prevent scurvy. You heard right. I, I think mostly when I've been, you know, I was told about scurvy and said it, they said it was oranges that would uh, work. Yeah, that would work best. Mm, oh, because dude. of some one of the vitamins in it, because that's what causes scurvy, like a, a complete lack of a s certain group of vitamins, I think. Uh, all the citrus family have the vitamin, if I remember right. Okay. <clears throat> so, so orange juice is correct, but I think it was the lime. Well, basically the lime that was the one they realized helped against scurvy. Okay. And probably escalated to orange juice later. Lawrence from the foundation she's worked so hard to set up. Uh, not relying on thievery immediately this time. But also, I have to say this. Limes? You can take Sorry? a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. I'm pretty sure this is not how you grow limes. It's the wrong tree, even. Oh, hello. I see a little something here. From what I recall... Wow. Elaine sure has been busy. Right, from what I recall... Orange tree and other citrus trees look like your average tree, not like a palm tree. They're not related to coconuts. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, here's the picture. <laughs> it's a torn painting of me. This Best is cute is. from a portrait of Elaine and me. Okay, that that was easy. And it was in a nest? Yep, a seagull nest. That, oh, <laughs> nice. They put up a little marker for her as well. Let's see. Is there anything else that looks to be of interest here? Doesn't look like it. So let's just head back to the ship and uh, go look at another island. I just realized, is uh -oh. that time of a reference to an old gay team? Um, yeah, I think more just to the world to the world map of the first game and such. And the, let's not go dark with LeChuck. I did not mean to rhyme. Or was it more a haiku? I, I don't know, know what... I can see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? <laughs> Do obnoxious talking skulls count? No. Then yes, I'm alone. I heard that. I'm Ned Filigree, accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I don't actually know what the core of a haiku is. I'd like to, I do not get it. It's not that they rhyme or anything. It's more just uh, the amount of words or something in each line or something. I, I'm not sure get it. as well. That is supposed to be inspirational? Oh dear. <laughs> Who is it you're afraid of? Well, have you heard of Stan S. Stanman? The name sounds familiar. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. Uh, what did you do? How well, he's afraid? afraid of Stan. He's always struck me as pretty harmless, except economically. Sure, but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. Like I <laughs> said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda Quarry for a good long time. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. Wait, you pay to be here? Also, what? A creative accountant? That uh, sounds like someone... 
who's, well, uh, what was the wording again? Not white, yeah, not, hmm. Money laundering, that's the word. <laughs> I'm guessing he is a creative at that. I'm on a quest to recover the secret of Monkey Island. That's a good move. I've heard the secret is a one-of-a-kind intangible, which means you can assign it whatever value you want to. Also, <laughs> since it's very old, you can claim a lot of depreciation. Wait, are you trying to tell me I'm going to have to pay taxes on the secret? Not if you're smart about it. Uh, yeah, he's definitely one of those accountants. I'm going to explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. <laughs> Both are just Easy asking what He's not coming. Nice likeness of you. Well, where's the other half? No comment. <laughs> Wait. We're going to have to be screwing around with pictures Wait, a bunch for some reason. For years and look, years. look at the picture. Yeah. It. I think that's the other half of Stan's. Probably, yeah, uh, judging by the colors up? in the background. Oh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> It's a seagull. This guy, is this guy is going to drive himself into a panic attack and try to swim over to Terror Island or something. Uh, I think I know what's going on here. The way, as you said, he'll sound like years a scam. And years and Just years. like Remember that. Stan. Stan. That's a mighty fine looking chest you have there. What's in it? Everything I own. The fruits of a man's life. The yardstick by which I'll be measured when I'm gone. It's mainly paperwork. Yeah, of course. He's gone for years and years. Hmm. Wait, where is that? No, it's probably... <laughs> uh... No. No. Nope. No. Okay, I thought we could maybe show him the picture of Stan to drive him away or something. That sound? Oh, that's just the waves. Do you want a lime to in, in this difficult time? Nope. Can I offer you a lime in this difficult time? I <laughs> messed up the joke. Oh dear. He's locked. Hey, Murray, this looks like a great place for you to spend the rest of your death. Don't even think about it, you traitorous worm. Remember who got you the map. <laughs> Uh, so good for you. Uh, mm. I mean, Murray, not Murphy. Also, oh, okay. There's <laughs> more. There's more up there. So let's head back here for a quick second. Uh, beach. Okay. Can we? Is Murray in reach? No. Okay. Would have liked to talk with him there. Oh, is there any? Oh. Halt, ship. If, Hello. If that's what you can call. That made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look, I have limes. See? <laughs> to proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, have you been to uh, Plague Island in the last four months? If check number two was business or pleasure, did you answer um, question number two? Are, are you carrying limes? <laughs> you now or have you ever been a member of the pirate party? No. Did you check number and uh, not six? <laughs> uh, I will not answer 27 or 28. What? Are you carrying any livestock? No. More than 10 or less than three bananas? What? Did you check seven? Yep. <laughs> Did you check nine, but did you not check two? Uh, okay, I think we're going to get blocked here. <laughs> and that these might need to be answered in a very specific order or something. Uh, not been to Bermuda during winter, I presume. Can I wood chuck, chuck wood? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you ever worn a disguise or used a pseudonym before? Yes. Is the answer to 13 and 9 a lie? Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, are you not carrying limes? We are carrying limes. If you question, uh, checked question two, verify you checked question 29. Yep. Check this, okay. Uh, 
If you ever destroyed a priceless artifact and gotten away with it, it's uh, plenty, I believe. Uh, does do three discount because that adds another one. I'm currently filing out a customs form. I think therefore I am. The North Star is in the South. I can't verify that I've answered a question 11 accurately. Uh, no, incorrectly. I'm not carrying any trivia cards. Questions through three and seven are uh, prime. Prime numbers are numbers that can't be divided by anything other than themselves. I think. Have you checked? You have checked an even odd number of questions. You have checked an even number of questions. Do not check this. Check uh, if you didn't check 25. Uh, don't check this if you didn't check uh, 29. Uh, so that means that we do need to check it. That one. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And three, six. 10, 12, 13, 15. And with this, that makes it 16. Actually, no. Since we need to check this one, that's uh, 17 now. Okay. All right. Let's see how you've done. Well, we have a problem right off the start. We don't allow pirates on Bermuda. I'm going to have to request that you leave these waters immediately. Does it help if I'm a mighty pirate? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was to man ask, is it really wise to say you're a pirate? <laughs> Probably not, but uh, oh well. Yeah, I was half expecting it anyways. Ahoy! Ahoy! Um, what the? Ahoy! Ahoy! Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. Uh, scurvy isn't a pathogen, it's... <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you... yeah. I think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My sister's best friend's dad's dietitian says it is. It's a scientific fact. No, oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. Um. <laughs> okay. Where'd you get that cool flag with the hole? We found it floating in the ocean. It's Bella Fisher's flag. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid okay. to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! Uh, a bunch of idiots. Right, that voice. No, it can't be, can it? Hello? Yak? Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? Scurvy! On board! Quarantine! Well, you could just toss it down to me. Best not to risk it. It's probably crawling with scurvy, trust me. No, uh, it's not Yak. You were thinking Jack Sacrican? Yeah. We had, he has been doing a little voice acting. Yeah, he, he he had a bit of he had a little part in the movie Free Guy, which I found really surprising that they actually got uh, internet people in that. Yeah, I heard that mentioned. The last time I saw him recently was in uh, Poppy's Playtime Chapter Two, but I even had to record him and all. Yeah. <laughs> you should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science mumbo jumbo? You need to leave before you catch scurvy. And so if it was infectious, you two would have it already. Have a look at this flyer on limes. Uh, ascorbic acid deficiency, collagen synthesis, mucous membranes. Hey, that is a bunch of science nonsense. We won't have any of that around here. It's all a trick to track our plunder. As if you have any plunder. 
I get the feeling these two are uh, a joke at a certain group of people who just do not believe in science at all. Bye. Yeah. Scurvy bites. You. Scurvy bites. I knew this was bad. Mary, any commentary? Hey, Mary. Have you tried scurvy? It would suit you. Uh, of course, bye. Biohazards are my least favorite hazards. I'm sensing a generally negative attitude directed at visitors. You have the deductive power of a cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Murray. Thank you. This clever mashup really gets the point across. The messages are a little mixed, but clearly enthusiastic. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> okay, we know who put them up. It's seen better days. Okay, that, that flag probably has a hint uh, on how to get to the fishing spots. For now, uh, yeah, Terror Island it is. Oh, I can see. <laughs> Maybe Kazulu Island is a better word. Uh, I think you saw a dead bird with bones of one. And it's gone. Death I missed that. For all who enter, I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. Also, the vines are moving around the sign. Uh, it's back. It's back. Uh, up oh, oh, there. Yeah. I might catch something, or something might catch me. Uh, I think I prefer. Yeah, that's really good here. Don't swim here, here Hillian. Rest in pieces. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's, it was, let's see these. Did that just move? I thought I saw it move. That looks a bit like a rib cage. Okay, let's see. We have a rocky beach. We have unlucky place. Uh, twisting path, slimy grotto, mysterious clearing, and a bizarre grove. And that seems to be it about here, except for, well, the rocky beach. Let's go and counterclockwise. Wait. I'm sure I'm a more skilled survivalist and have nothing to worry about. I'll just keep telling myself that. Yeah, keep telling that, yourself that and you might believe it one day. And that hot shit rock just cracked. Uh, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. Also, this island looks kind of... Familiar in an unexpected way. Oh. Think of Owl House. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the boiling aisles. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a slow crashing wave of spores. And I'd say they ripped off them. It could be a coincidental similarity or a homage, perhaps? Maybe. In all the worst places. There are mushrooms. Hmm. Any comments, the Helium? As long as there aren't poisonous, I'll probably eat them. Though, 100%, any mushroom here is poisonous. That or may have other unpleasant side effects like mutations. Yep. Or becoming <laughs> a mushroom zombie. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? Well, technically all mushrooms are man-eating if they grow on human corpses. That sort of counts. And, uh, yeah, and in a weird way uh, that I recently learned... I heard a scream? Yeah. Ooh. It's locked. Right, I will say is... Mushrooms are not plants. In a weird way, they're closer, more closely related to us. Okay. Apparently, extremely early on, we shared an ancestor with mushrooms and split early on as well. And if we, I mean, yeah. early on, I really mean early on. At the bacterial level. <laughs> yeah. It says X, Y, Z, Z, Y. It's so old, it's about ready to fall off. Hello. I've had it with locks. Does this have a serial number? 
The serial numbers have long since rusted away. <laughs> so it did have them at least. Uh, we still have this. Does this? This key doesn't fit. More to be expected, but oh well. Maybe. This key doesn't fit. Nope. Okay. It's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. Yeah, something that I have heard may become an issue in, in future space exploration. Something that probably nail on the head quite well with alien planets. Yeah. <clears throat> Since oh, you what? Remember that show? Uh, was on Discovery or Animal Planet or something? Discovery, but also Animal Planet. Uh, hello. Oh dear. And you were to say something there? I accidentally interrupted you. Yeah, but uh, any life on other planets would be completely incomparable to life here, probably, since, well, things could have developed completely differently. Yeah. Like, it could so, be silicone-based, it could be based on something else, or just yeah, completely, so uh, completely new uh, elements that we don't even know. Yeah, so, some planets could be similar, sort of, while others could be very different. Yeah, there, there'll probably be some comparable things, but that's mostly because of evolutionary parts that are just, uh, yeah, useful, like by, uh, yeah, <clears throat> legs. two legs and such, two arms. There could, of course, be many more. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, he got shot like he had the on the back of the head. His back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Yeah. Looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. Yeah, he was shot what in the really back. What bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Um. Uh, ow! Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. It's an right old oil in the lamp eye. with a little lamp fuel inside. At least death would have been quick since, well, a good part of the brain would have been instantly destroyed. Yeah, there, uh, there has been people that have survived an entire railroad pole flying through the eye and back of the head. Basically yeah, it, living it, with a hole in the head. Yeah, it just depends on what you uh, what gets hit and what doesn't get hit. Yeah, no, survival is extremely hard, uh, rare. Do you get that it survived this, like I said before? Had his entire personality changed. He went from yep. hot, warming man to... Violent. Basically, uh, yeah, basically violent and heartless. Says, so yeah, most of his personality flew al along uh, with that uh, iron pole. It's not lit, but it does have some lamp oil in it. Let's see, so we have some lamp oil. Hmm. We're definitely supposed to be doing something here, but I don't think we can at the moment. We need a key for that place. Is there really nowhere else here? I guess we should are supposed to go to Bermuda, where it seems to be hinting at it. Yeah. Though, if we get to do that paperwork again... To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs decoration form. Name? This time... Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. Okay, Helian. D no! Let's see, what if we just do the last one and do that? Uh, <laughs> uh, you should probably make sure you have lime. Uh, yeah, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Are you carrying limes? Yes, he actually nobody knows that. Uh, check number four. Did you... Hmm. Does not checking it uh, 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 count as not answering it? Let's see. That one. No livestock. No bananas. Uh, no. Let's see, Bermuda. Woodchuck. Uh, oh, this is never worn a disguise or used as an enemy before. Uh, probably best that we say that. 
it is completely alive, of course, but we're already going to be lying anyways. Uh, not carrying limes. Check one. Check you verified. Okay. <laughs> Artifacts. I'm currently filling out. I think therefore I am. The North Star is in the South. Don't know about that. Uh, 11 incorrectly. Yes. Not carrying trivia uh, cards. Uh, you check this. Don't Wait, check this. Is two a prime number? Oh, actually, no, it isn't. It, <laughs> okay, that that's a little good little cash. I I thought that was one. Uh, let's see. Okay, one, two, five. Eight, nine, ten, twelve, and then thirteen. Let's see. All right, let's see how you've done. Hmm, good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. Okay, this looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. <laughs> okay, what? Well of course, it's a it, Bermuda, Bermuda, so it's a triangle. Oh, for love of... <laughs> oh, so this is where that royal came from. Oh, yeah, but, well, uh, I forgot to mention it. I think they are from here. Yeah. Could have guessed it with and the ice theme. to the brim with rotten fish bones. Why does this look oddly Scandinavian? Probably because it's supposed to. I'm staying far away from this. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. For a moment I thought the sculpture was hand holding a bucket, but no, it's... <laughs> the wind must have blown out the fire. Can we light this here? Yes, we can. Okay, it's lit. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. Okay. We can probably use that to get a better look on Terror Island. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. Might want to stay away from there, but... Uh, <laughs> we're probably going to have to go in there and... Might as well get it over with now. Hello again. Oh. I'm... <laughs> uh, I don't even now notice. I, I, I recorded I had keys for a crown just... Oh, of course. Now there's someone I've got to meet. Oh, so they have a fish for a lap hat. Order! Oh, order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? Innocent. Uh... <laughs> really? In the case of Guybrush v. Will, the will was found to be complicit. The case was dropped when a witness failed to show up with the poster forging. <laughs> I never blew up that fourth no gunpowder residue was ever found. <laughs> What the heck? Uh, this one is from Tails. Uh, this one I don't have, and have a, any of a clue. Uh, though he could be meaning towards the manatee or something. Uh, this is that again or... to Kate. And this is from... Oh, uh, <laughs> this is from number two, when uh, <laughs> basically Guybrush nuked himself and Wally out of there, out of you know, Little Chuck's stronghold. So oh, I'm tripping. Dear case was dropped when the witness failed to show up over the poster forging. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery, or there will be arrests! Uh... What? <laughs> what did your honor do wrong to get this appointment? What did your honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. <laughs> uh... Your Honor, what? do you have to buy your own robes? Or are they court appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, we are so getting thrown out of here. Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. Let me guess, 20, uh, <laughs> 20 bucks to every uh, uh, defendant, no, not to defendant, to every... Uh, I forget what it's called when it's a class action lawsuit, but... <laughs> Bribe? Um, hmm. Your Honor, are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order, order in the court. If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court. <laughs> that is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Okay, that went better than last time we were in court. Toasty. I'm. Concern for you, man. Wait a minute. An empty fire scone. Oh, one in this case. Next to an ice statue. Yeah, we are going to commit vandalism. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. But let's look around first. Ice castle. Are we going Lord to find Elsa? Trump. Maybe it's warm in here. Probably not. View. What the heck? This is a bit of a trek. A long ship? More long ships? Is this the castle here? Or no, we're going even further. Also, how big are these freaking boats? Really, that's the can castle. Be the fire, melting ice. Very hoogly. Google Lake, what the? Welcome, loyal subject. Let's see. It's nicely dried, pre cut, and ready to go. Mm. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. Uh, they will miss it, probably. Ah. What's with this it's bucket? slowly filling up with castle. Yeah, because it's dripping here. Okay. Dear gods. Hello, that's a familiar looking book. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. Hmm. Does Mrs. Smith have a... Or Miss Locksmith have any relationship to here, possibly? I'm oh, Guybrush no. Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Grunt. Did you really just say grunt? Nice weather we're having. Grunt. I see. <laughs> so I'm guessing your name is Grunt and you are like <laughs> Groot? Bermuda seems like a friendly place. Burr. Yeah, I feel you. Okay, so we can just approach without getting hammered. Your Majesty. <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brushed Threepwood, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Odina? The one she was governor of Melee? That was before I won my throne, but she does keep her hand in. And both feet. <laughs> what brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Let's... What? I need your help to recover the secret of Monkey Island. There are these five golden keys. I'm vaguely aware of them. You can obviously see the one on my crown. The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Uh, also, how did I did it? <laughs> if everyone had, <clears throat> if everyone handed over their keys, uh, how did they get back in? <laughs> had to make extra maid and Polly. What happened to Polly? 
Uh, they were sent to... <laughs> they were sent to chill out. Oh, come on, Helian. Naturally, you'll want to have that cleaned once in a while. It stays perfectly clean as long as I don't let greasy pirates put their paws all over it. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. Okay. Abrash? Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it, win it, wrest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. Seriousness, really? <clears throat> three trials. It's just like becoming a pirate. It's nothing like becoming a pirate. Well, except for the three trials part. Contests. They're contests. Okay. <laughs> so Guyvers is going to become a pirate queen. <laughs> Can you give me more details on the contests to become queen? The contest of heartiness is an eating contest. Raw fish. Call it sushi if it helps you sleep better. The contest of seriousness is one where you must keep a straight face. Whoever laughs first loses, which I never do. The contest of intelligence is an algebra test. 20 second time limit, best answer wins. And yes, I do always have the best answer. You What's sound like you're serious about this. Hmm. Uh oh. Thank you for the audience. I'll take my leave. Very well. You may go. Okay, I was thinking, I was, I had the feeling that we were supposed to go around winning hearts and minds again. Uh, let's see, anything? No. And it, it's it's less an ice castle and more like an ice lookout tower on top of a ridge. Yeah, and um, is that a triangle fort? Or more a triangle square. quarry. What the? The guard is guardedly guarding the guardhouse. <sighs> Don't try to be clever, guy for us. We know you're not. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? Uh, <laughs> like to break one of the prisoners out. It's a social call. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Also, a little lure. Are you in the chums? Um, not saying anything. This, this is just going to become an entire side thing that we can pester people with, huh? <clears throat> yeah. I think one of the other games had something like that as well that we never actually found. But, uh... I'm sure. Okay, let's... So, Guybrush, what the hell were you doing just... She was looking the wrong way. Also, yeah. We are not putting these pictures in any other order than that. Yeah, Stan does not deserve a kiss. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend Stan together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him. But no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. That explains the... Yeah. Boom. 
Oh, uh, that in the snow. Uh, judging by the fact that they cut a part out, he has been smashed at least once. Or the previous god was. Yeah, also, get off there. Uh, also, yeah, <laughs> he can't even do a picture correct. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Can we see him from here? No. Also, why would you... Well, I was about, about to say, why would you quarry ice? But ice is actually pretty valuable in places where it's, well, doesn't freeze. Loud guy, big hat. Way in the back. Loud guy, big hat. But keep on walking. You'll find him. Loud guy, big hat. Way in the back. Let's see if anyone has anything special to say about him. You know where Stan is? He's in the back corner. Seen Stan? Way in the back. Yeah, I think... <clears throat> I think when it became possible to or to ship ice to other places, that, uh, that really started helping with food quality and such. You know, Stan, makes sense. keep on walking. You'll find him. You know where Stan is? Way in the back. Each of them has a different voice. Seen Stan? He's in the back corner. Okay, this is going to twist back and forth. Does each of them have a different voice or a different you know age. Stan is? He's in the back corner. Loud guy, big hat. Keep on walking, you'll find him. Really? You're so desperate for warmth. <laughs> They, they are all making ice sculptures. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's not what's supposed to have be happening in a quarry, but okay. Seen Stan? Just past the tunnel. You know where Stan is? Just past the tunnel. <laughs> ah, there he is. They really even is that that pattern isn't going to move, is it? Hey, yep. Hi there, son. Nice to what? see you. What are you in that... for? What a name of. <laughs> so it's not his jacket, it's his motherfucking Stan McStanson himself who causes that. <laughs> Fucker is an anomaly. Someone go call the SCP Foundation. You said his name wrong. <laughs> Stan yeah, I know. It's Stanson. Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. <laughs> Pitches are for baseball, son. I make introductions. I'm like a matchmaker between you and your future. I want you to consider these two words. Ice, sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength, elegance, yeah. transparency. Together, they could be life-changing. The chill of the Arctic combined with the... Stan, eh, I don't think so. Don't wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. Are they, are they carving these because of you? I would not be surprised. How about I bust you out of here? Yeah, this place seems a little harsher than the jail on Melee. I might or might not know a competent locksmith who could take care of those shackles. Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Okay, judicial order. Bermuda, plank presiding. <clears throat> It is hereby ordered that the defendant's smiling Stan S. Stanman is to be remanded to hard labor at the Bermuda uh, Ice Macquarie for the unfortunately trivial term of one month. Also, smiling is literally your first name. Okay, I guess I got his last name wrong then. Yes, that means we both got his full name wrong. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me, they never caught on to my pyramid scheme, or I'd probably be doing ten years. Well, you're currently on the pyramid, and you are scheming. So, what is this? Tell me yeah. more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records, well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. So I think we can have to go get Ned, ask for his paperwork, 
bring that to the judge and uh, have Stan sentenced to life so he has a reason to bust out. That is a unusual way to make him want to escape. Yeah. Of course, we're not going to tell him that we're the cause of it. We're just going to blame Ned. And I guess we don't have one month to wait. Yeah. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. This place sure I'm is gonna kill him. That's what productivity sounds like. Yeah. Uh, typically, productivity sounds more, well, active. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. <laughs> okay. Hello. Looks like they have room for one more prisoner. Uh, let's not try and get those up put on us. Also, uh, someone tried it to get looks out. Looks like a secret escape tunnel. Not so secret. It, that leads straight here. Okay. What? The wind must have blown out the fire. And let's see. Can we light? Nope. Get back there, guy, bros. Like that. It's way too high to reach. This one might be too high as well, but first let's let's see if that's yeah, now that we have a light source also a bit oversized with this Wally. Maps at plus. Why are you writing it in French? I, I think that's actually a thing man map map is made. Uh, it doesn't remind me. Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. Uh, uh, that sounded true. I would say I recall a map I may try to see if there's a in the new video, YouTube videos about to see if it's fake or not. But that's a map that is extremely old and still yet a copy of an older map that shows Antarctica without ice correctly. Okay. <laughs> and I've, last time I heard about it, it was very unsure if it's fake or not, they were still debating about it. Or even then, even debating how they, 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 this person was able to do it. Sounds oh, interesting at least, yeah. Together, Ned. And again, it was already a extremely old copy, not a map. Does, in this map, this copy is around 700 years old or something. That definitely sounds like it has an interesting story behind it, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. If it's a green map at all to begin with. Okay. Oh, this guy might want to know that uh, Stan isn't going to be away for so long as he thinks he is. You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? What? Who told you that? I can't confirm that. I will neither confirm nor deny possession of any incriminating... Uh, I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. Stan is serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Simply no need. <laughs> so you confirmed that you deny possession? So you confirmed that you deny possession of Stan's records. What? Yes. I mean, no. I confirm nothing. What difference does it make? Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Think about all the happy years you'll have before he gets out. Let's burst that balloon. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness! <laughs> Can I have the picture? Not now. I'm packing. Can I help you pack? I can handle it. Just take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. He's probably going to leave it behind as he bails. How about if I bury you in the warm sand? You can have a nice long rest. I'll rest when I'm not dead, which is never. <laughs> he has a point. Yeah. Okay. Off we go. Imagine 
having him on top of a necromancer staff. <laughs> he would probably be complaining at the <laughs> at, at the necromancer constantly. That of throwing very rigorously threats at anyone. Okay. Uh, let, let's. I'm no expert, but this stuff looks as dirty as a bag of mud in a pigsty. This should be enough evidence to lock Stan up for a very long time. More than so ten years, probably, then. Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. <laughs> it's really like a say that if that helps, really. Uh, uh, re really? I can swear like a sailor, if that helps. Order! Order in the court! Opposing counsel will refrain from vulgar language in this court. You heard him, Alien. Your Honor, please cite the statute requiring a sworn affidavit in cases of... Statute 7, Section H, Subsection G, Parenthesis E. I see. And Section U, Parenthesis E, Parenthesis I, I, Subsection A, Parenthesis B. Okay. And Section S, Parenthesis T, Parenthesis <laughs> F, Subsection B. <laughs> I withdraw the question. <laughs> okay, did you see the last one they pulled there? I got distracted from your cough. Uh, that wasn't a cough, that was me laughing. The subsection S, T, F, U. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh! Oh! <laughs> and. Uh, wait, you call that laughing? Uh, I think you were coughing while laughing. Uh, that, that as well, yes. <laughs> oh, dear God. Uh. Counsel for the aggrieved withdraws the damning exhibit, but reserves the right to resubmit at a later date. Court is adjourned! Okay, so we need to get him to sign. Affidavit, but we'll probably have to find him again. Let's see, is this still locked? locked? Maybe I'll oh, come back. I mean, that, that bird is also fruit. I thought it was a decoration. <laughs> well, I guess it became a Weird decoration. This island seems even smaller now that there's no one here. Okay, we got the picture, and he's run off to somewhere. Probably won't be finding him again. Hmm. Is there anything we can do here now that we have that lamp? Maybe light things up a bit also. Hello? I'm sure you'll be safe here. Worry about your own skin, Threepwood. I have no skin. And he also has no skin in the game. Quite literally. Did that just move? I thought I saw it move. Okay. We know we need a key somewhere here, but can we light something up? To get a better look at anything. So I get the feeling that this place is mostly lethal by the fact that people just get freaked uh, the utter hell out and start turning on each other. Uh, let's not go there. That's a possibility. Yeah, what is... Why do these look familiar? Why do I get the feeling this entire island is just one giant freaking starfish? Let's see. That would put it there automatically. Um, yeah, that belongs together. Hmm. Not sure how that exactly will be of too much use. You could use it in the court, perhaps? Probably. We're, we're going to need to pretend to be Ned. Hmm. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. Let's see. Your Honor, what is the legal status of the Royal Challenges? The traditional Bermudian contests of hardiness, seriousness, and intelligence have been ruled to be fully constitutional. Does the plaintiff need more information? 
I seek to inquire about the contest of hardiness. Statute 45, Section 2, Subsection A states, The contest of hardiness is an eating contest. You must eat more fish than the queen or she less than you. Okay, we're going to have to cheat in all three of these somehow. I seek to inquire about the contest of seriousness. <laughs> Statute 46, Section VI, Subsection U states, The contest of seriousness is what we call a stone face contest. Whoever laughs first is the loser. Upon appeal to a higher court, the telling of jokes was ruled to be allowed. Further appeal to the Supreme Court found the actual encouragement of jokes to be fair. Okay, so we go, we're going to have to tell her jokes to make her laugh. I seek to inquire about the contest of intelligence. Statute 46, section XIIVII, subsection D, parenthesis I, states, the contest of intelligence is an advanced algebra quiz. Said quiz shall be timed and binding. Upon appeal, it was ruled that the algebra questions can include questions involving polynomials, but not integration of unknown terms. Do you know advanced algebra? I'm pretty sure I got an A. I'm also pretty sure I cheated. Order, <laughs> order in the court. There is no cheating allowed. Let's not hey. ask that. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, court is adjourned. Also, I'm pretty sure that in the last one, we <laughs> that wasn't a legal Roman, uh, Roman numeral or something. Uh, let's see. It was X, Y, Y, V, Y, Y, I, I, I. That would be a bastardization of 12 eighths or uh, about. Uh, that could have just been two X's. But oh well. Since an X is, an, is, is a 10, uh, an I is a 1, a V is a 5. And if a 1 is put before the bigger number, that means it's a uh, it's to be counted off of the bigger number. So IIX would be 8, but you might as well just do uh, VIII instead, to make 8 instead. <clears> okay. <throat> yeah. Let's give this again. Uh, actually, we're probably going to need... Yeah, we're going to need... There. We're not putting those in any other way. Your Honor, I resubmit these incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that net filigrees where an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. We haven't identified ourselves to him yet. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish via V Customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Threepwood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> jovial nickname. We, who would ever name their kid Guybrush? <laughs> I do my accounting under a legal pseudonym for tax reasons. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. Yep, I thought we were going to need to use the... <laughs> the man... the... yeah, the... boy... <laughs> tongue... butchered... Uh, photos for that. It, uh, in light of new evidence, the defendant smiling as Stan as Stan Man is to continue at hard labor into Bermuda for the deliciously appropriate and lengthy term of 10 years. Delicious? <laughs> what? Okay. Now, are we going. If we do this, are we going to get thrown in as well? It's a remarkably accurate representation of Queen Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. Let's step back a moment and... Okay, I was fully expecting that thing to melt. Uh, also, hey, we have a shortcut. Later. It's the secret tunnel to the ice quarry. Okay, this is a lot faster. So, uh, hello Stan, we have some... Bad news for you, good news for everyone else. Uh, 
I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Okay. Uh, we can't get a good look at those shackles. Hey, you gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years. As much as I'd rather not get a better look at him, let's try at least. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. Okay, there we go. Now let's just but hope that really? the locksmith hasn't wised up. Really? Apparently, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Melee. And then the high streets. And the locksmith. Welcome back. Hiya. Okay, Miss Smith. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. <laughs> At least Gyrus is a decent liar. And hello there, Cookie. Uh, let's see. Hi, but bye. I can't stay long. I'm on hotspot. I don't think I'll uh, make it to stream before I come home from train station. So, yeah. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you, Cookie. Hope you'll have a good day as well. Be safe, Cookie! <laughs> okay. Simple enough. We go back. Speedy boat. <laughs> and... Yeah. Just here. Here. It's the secret tunnel to there the ice quarry. There we go. Okay, I had a feeling we'd we needed to get ourselves thrown in, but luckily not. Let's see. Museum. There it is. There's the shackle key. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. There's a handy tunnel over there where Chisel Pete escaped a few days ago. I'd like to ask you for a favor in return. It has to do with limes and scurvy. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? He possibly still is. Uh, let's see. Sublimes, really. Uh, and yeah, we, we sort of warned you about that, uh, uh, Cookie. <laughs> you do need to work on the uh, homework, so good luck with that. Zebrafruit. I like it, I like it. You've got a future, son. Your promo flyer has also got to yep. go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if Saberfruit could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? It, of course. Find the secret of Monkey Island? Guybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Amazing strength? Good, yes. Muscles on your muscles. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that. Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm. <laughs> Bite these. <laughs> Like these. Almost too meaningful, but I think we can work with it. Also, he's a paper craft character making this paper craft. Is your new flyer. Saber fruit bite these. Prevents hair loss, reduce belly fat, may also cure scurvy. <laughs> really? Uh, we can't scroll down, so. Okay, that is. Am I. Oh, well. Show people this, and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. 
What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if <laughs> you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. But he's not getting a cut. Yeah, hip -hop. he might get a cut from Elaine. <laughs> from an actual saber. Or a lime. Oh, sorry, saber fruit. For a little while. Uh, <laughs> but I think that was the first time of Elaine meeting Stan. It, at least that we are aware of for... I, I, I I still not seen the uh, YouTube videos of the other game we had to abandon due to technical difficulties. Uh, from what I know, they don't meet. Huh. Okay. Well, now though, let's go. Uh, let's go convince a bunch of flat earthers that uh, the miracle limes will. I don't know. Give them crystal vibrations. Okay. Here you go, dumb. Asses. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Saber fruit. The new amazing miracle fruit. Ah, regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic. Have you got any of these miracle saber fruits? Sure thing. Right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Bite these, and welcome aboard! Uh. Oh, dear. And as you said, Flutter, I think I saw a fountain the other day on YouTube of someone thinking they found a new way of proving Earth is flat. And that was apparently... A, what was it? What about snow plows? Eh? That somehow that proves Earth is flat? They're, they're just being getting stupider and stupider. You found it like this? Yeah. It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Thank you, thanks. How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. Elaine is going to get mad. <laughs> also, just the fact that LeChuck found a different one <laughs> on a completely different freaking island. Okay. Uh, oh, welcome back, Cookie. Welcome back. Uh... Let's see, we can't get our inventory from this. So let's just stop here for a moment. <laughs> At this pleasant place. Uh, oh yeah, uh, how long do we have left? I know we added basically 10 minutes. Well, uh, I added so five, but I can add a few more. Uh, we'd have about seven at the moment. Let's see, where's, Wait, where's the flag? Seven? Would that be... Flag? It's got or considering the marks along the edge, and there's a hole in it. Did we have some technical difficulties that we extended by five, and we did start five minutes later? Uh, yeah, in five. Uh, oh yeah, ten minutes we have now at the moment. Yeah, uh, or technically twelve minutes if you're gonna be very technical. Yeah, so yeah, we've got about ten minutes to go. I wouldn't mind extending it another five minutes though. Uh. I yeah, get the feeling yeah. we're going to need to make this Hello? We will have another location. I'll mark it with an X. Interesting. Right, I was to say, we do have another stream later today. Yeah. Which will be either binary domain or something. Like, this was meant to be in the evening, but since Commander 2 is yeah. building. An old game. I will leave it at that. I don't know what other else to say at, about it at the moment. So we either play Banner Domain or maybe more Monkey Island or Valheim. Maybe Deep Rock. Uh, yeah. Something dropped. <clears throat> Sound like a pet. Oh, 
I'll, I'll try to get commandos working again. I really don't know... If, uh, uh, some 10 minutes still, Cookie. Maybe 15. Uh, but yeah. We'll see what we'll d be doing tonight. It's... It looks pretty clear from here. Watch out below. I'm guessing my lamp Ow. won't be lit anymore after this. Okay, what did we hit? <clears throat> yeah, two minutes off the eight already. I am seeing a bunch of fish, but this doesn't look too much like a fishing spot. But I'm guessing this is just where... Oh, this is where she sank. Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the key. Uh, 10 or 15 about, yeah. Ooh, it's beautiful. How did that sink, though? It's shiny. Uh, of course, complication. Uh, how much damage did we cause? Also, I just noticed something there. Uh, Guybrus is wearing the wedding ring, so this is definitely after Curse of Monkey Island. The <laughs> Bella Fisher looks angry. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. Okay, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> and it's another key down. Freeport! Alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the keys. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, why do you got bagged? This is certainly exciting. Shut Again! Up. I feel like they would have given the new voice actor of uh, the captain if they just skipped the uh, screen shaking. Yeah, or just made him louder. Are we lying in it. wait or just waiting? It's technically illegal to do piracy without a flag. Really? What? Hey, Murray, anything on the horizon? Only your eventual ultimate obliteration. See anything yet? The future, the past, the terrible, terrible present. <laughs> Yorks are far off. I'm not even mortal, and I'm feeling the minutes tick away. Yes, yes, we get it. You're bloody bored. Okay, then. Hmm. Where to next, then, though? We should be... Well, we, we have the trowels there. Bare Bones is now even more Bare Bones. Scurvy we're done with, mostly. Anything here on Melee? Uh, we should probably go check out the murder scene. Yeah, and Good also... Bit. I thought you would be dead. Or robbed? Did they rob her? Yeah, they, or... they did take the key. <laughs> I can't say if I'm... Uh, I can't say if I'm happy that she isn't hasn't been murdered by a ghost or that I'm disappointed. Hi. Uh, uh, hey boy. Got a warning for you. A warning. You're in danger. A stocky little ghost lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, any idea where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. I know when I'm beat. I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. 
Oh, I got two golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your key. I hope your luck is better. Let's see. see round, Whitey. Most likely. We have two of the keys. We know where one of them is, and we know the general area of another. But that still leaves, let's see, the Whitey's, Bermuda, the Terror Island Golden Key. So we're going to need a lock. We're going to Wait. need the key for that lock, but how can we... The numbers are rusted away. Hello, I think two of them are on the same island. Hmm. Yeah, there's terror. Okay. Oh. There is... that, that, that's the thing. You, you, you notice on the cutscene? Yeah, that, that was probably Terror Island, yeah. Yeah, it did. I mean, you think about it, it did, I mean, it did look like a place with probably a lot of eldritch energy. Yeah. Dark magic. That's such a nice sign. Somehow, I don't think he's doing fine. What? <coughs> what happened here? Well, his shop has been ransacked. Is he These still alive? Wally's life's work. At least I assume so. Yeah, is he alive or did the truck finally finish him off? Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. So Who could have done this? Now we have to go play I guess like Chuck. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> now we have to go play where is Wally? Like the books or where's Waldo in different areas? Oh, this is dear. all that's left of Wally's standard sized maps, globe, odd sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Who could have done this? Yeah, you know I guess like Chuck. Obviously. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Where is Carissa, by the way? Hello? Hmm. It's not like her to leave the place unlocked. Also, I smell brimstone and beard oil. <laughs> Look, Chuck's been here. Really? And that magical glow on the safe is new. I bet that's his work. Unless it's Captain Lila. Hmm. I don't know what this glow means, but I bet it means LeChuck. Or Madison. Either way, I'd better find the keys soon. That portal oh, yeah. that it showed. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, they can see it. What was that? Someone could be messing with the safe back on melee. One of us should go check it out. I'll go. I'm itching for something constructive to do. I am not comfortable with that. Trent, you go with her. You can keep an eye on each other. If anyone's there, kill them. It's always nice to work as a team. Now it's two on one against LeChuck, but it's LeChuck. <laughs> okay, so they can't actually see it, but they can sense that it's being messed with. Let's see. Yeah, not surprised that there's a skull on the back of it. Okay, it'll take them a while to get here. Hmm. So what can we do in the meantime? We we can try and take on the queen. In the yeah, in the trials. Actually, can we get? Hmm, we need a serial number. But do you know anything about old Hi. locks? Hello again. Hmm. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Okay. Yeah, I think the only place we can progress at the moment is Bermuda. Hmm. Uh, yeah, pay attention on the road, Cookie. Oh, well, we can just stop anywhere. I long for the day that our roles are reversed, and it's your head stuck on the bow of the ship. Comfy? When is my lunch break as mandated by the figureheads guild? Did you just make that up? A good guild starts with an idea. <laughs> really? Okay, so we can just chat with Murray whenever we want. Wait, weren't the, were the guilds basically an early version of worker unions back in the day? Yeah. 
Is there any news here? Can I get back inside? I want to admire the sculptures. Maybe take home a few souvenirs? Nope. We're on lockdown. Why? Well, don't tell anyone, but there was an E-S-C-A-B-E. -E. All the prisoners are gone. All? I don't know how it happened, but it's under investigation. Good luck with that. <laughs> All of them? Also, the mode's completely frozen with the fish still in it, of course. <laughs> Uh, that's the stream timer. About this stump? No, why? Well, it was tagged, so I thought, you know, maybe there would be a great gag about a secret opening to a system of tunnels or something like that. Please don't joke about tunnels next to the prison, sir. Okay, I did not mean to click that. I actually was looking away to the to my phone, which was going up. But uh, yeah, Cookie is just home, so yeah, let's add on. Uh, let's go for five more minutes then. Yeah, just quickly make a new one here. Five zero zero go. And yeah, let's see. Has that has that thing melted by now or anything? Are we even supposed to be able to get in here or anything? It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. We can't reach that. And oh, the secret tunnel has oh, been looks covered. Like they filled in the secret tunnel to the ice quarry after our escape. Okay, so we, oh, it has been <laughs> melted. Who's the idiot who placed a torch next to an ice sculpture? Guybrush. Alien. Oh, wait, no, Guybrush. Sorry, Rome Pirates. Yes. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Okay, I nothing have new. no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. All right, then. Uh, let's go challenge the queen to some of the trials and fail so we know how to cheat them. Oh dear. Okay. Thankfully we skip all the way up. Okay then. Odina! Actually, let's be formal after all, shall we? Your Majesty! Yes! I challenge you to the contest of heartiness. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. Uh, okay, now it's open. Maybe it stays open. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Okay. Dios mio. Another challenge. A another? How often does she get challenged? Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the contest of heartiness. As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is hagfish. Oh, those. We, we saw those at the shop. Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. <laughs> Nope. Is it okay? At least we have entrance here now. Hmm. And we know what fish to get for the fish shop. Yep. It's the soon-to-be former queen. Let's see. Contest is hiding right in this, but it's in the back room here. Probably another contest area. Oh, yeah, this is the seriousness one. I'm presuming. Let's see. Where is the last? Probably there. Oh yeah, it, it definitely is. Also, matchbox? These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. <laughs> really? Okay. I can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. Hmm. Can we light it? Or we have firewoods. We're Oink. probably going to have to screw around here with that. Maybe light something that uh, there's a shadow cast. 
Uh, so she gets the equation wrong or something? It's loud about every 15 seconds. Like my Uncle Ernie. Hey, it's not an icicle. I mean, I guess this is algebra? I actually have no idea. I have a little idea of algebra as well, so let's just get out of it. Did I see something by the fire? Yeah, just little shadows being cast. Hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's talk to some people. They... Really? Do all of these people just talk like zombies? We're going to need a translation book or something. Uh, what? This this game. Also, yep, I meant to really to feel the warmth. I, I get the feeling there might be a joke achievement or something, where if you warm yourself at every uh, fire or something. They stay lit in this weather. Okay, but yeah, that was the extra five minutes counter. Let's have a little check of our to-do list. Uh, yeah, we have to acquire Whitey's key, which is probably somewhere on Terra Island or on the ship. Or Chuck's ship, or the ship as he calls it. And yeah, we need to win the contests, or cheat the contest, more like. And we need to find a way to get... Hold on a second, I think I know. It's small extension, but that plaque that was over the key, or the keyhole, could that be used to get a key made? Welcome back. Hello. Okay, Miss Locke. Can you work with this? I found a sign that says XYZZY covering the lock on a gate on Terror Island. Would you know anything about that? I remember when I was a little girl, my parents did some work for a guy who was sealing up a cave there. But he went to Terror Island and never came back. Hmm. Okay, so maybe one of the bodies has the key then? Okay. Oh, wait. Iliam? Hmm? He went there, and Navy came back, and we heard screaming from that cave with the lock on. Yeah, maybe that's someone... Well, we heard scream... I think I heard two different voices, but I think they were meant more for background. It was only heard when you were near the door. Hmm. Okay, so maybe there is someone inside there, but we'll have to find that out next time, though. Uh, yeah, and safely. also, it's Monkey Island. There's gonna be someone inside there. Probably. But for now, let's exit <coughs> that, go over here, and uh, we're going to look for someone to raid then, after I reveal all of my icons again and open up the browser. <laughs> I will load the cannons. Uh, okay. We are starting soon. There okay. you go. I, I, I really need to find out what the hell is causing that glitch. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a glitch that... The, like, whatever first thing I get to see when I join here, I... that will be shown. Uh, I, hmm. Maybe it was part now we caused by... Uh, by Discord being on that side of the monitor, on that monitor as well. Uh, we'll have to run some tests before the evening stream, if nothing gets in the way, of course. For the moment, though, let's change the window to the browser so you can actually see along. Let's see. Uh, we have Frain, Frain, who is streaming Aquatico. I think that's a new game by... Paradox or something? The people who made uh, Stellaris and such? I did not know that. I only know that some people have been playing it. I've seen it on my recommendations. <clears throat> uh, yeah, then we have WBPL76 who is streaming My Time at Por uh, Portia. I can't say I've heard of that. I have. But it has been a while. Okay. Any good? Okay, but the one I saw was in early access, so... 
Okay. No idea how that went. It kind of... Mm. As some YouTubers played it, then it's... Well... Kind of fell out of radar. Hmm. Okay. Next up, we have Kevin and I, who is streaming World of, Fant uh, World of Final Fantasy. Uh, and yeah, Maxima. I don't know if that's the same game as just normal uh, World of Final Fantasy or an expansion or sequel or something. No idea. Uh, then we have Ruffy Raccoon, who is streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey. A very good game, I'd say. Very big and long, but still uh, plenty good. Uh, a yeah, uh, bit of context. As Assassin's Creed Origins is also a uh, is also a very long game, but it does it is a lot less well filled than Odyssey. Odyssey has a lot more things to actually meaningfully do, uh, whereas Origins has a lot of busy work, which well is a a thing across basically every Assassin's Creed. But Odyssey does it better. We probably might be streaming that sometime. Still unsure about it, but all right. Yeah, and then we have Kiri Natsuyoko, who is again streaming Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Okay. And if those aren't interesting, or should we look at the recommended? Hmm. A debate and... between Frayne or Karenai. Right. And, uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Cookie, the, the people we typically stream are generally under 100 viewers at the moment like the most one of these at the moment is Kiri Natsuyoku with 39 viewers yeah um, a bit of try to give support to other uh, creators that are not as bi uh, big as some others yeah lot, not like with thousands of and such and I think we raided Frain last time or I was at least looking at them uh, actually oh there, here's something like I wanted to recommend the channels. It's called Sour Walrus, and they're streaming Valheim. Maybe we give them a jump? Why not? Why not? Just, it just sounds funny. Like, do they... <laughs> what the hell have they been building here? Oh, well. Uh, dear God. It, it'll be nice to stream someone we... have we yeah, Someone new yeah, now. Okay. Uh, slash raid sour walrus but before we started of course thank you everyone who has been watching now or later uh, thank you cookie for chilling along a bit and uh yeah you should probably get to that homework <laughs> oh dear gods uh, and of course as always thank you drakir you're welcome as always my friend and with that we'll start the raids and yeah tonight's I'm personally hoping we'll have Commandos 2 fixed. I'll have to edit the stream in after this, since it'll it'll get named the first thing that is up there in the corner with OBS. Uh, if not, uh, Binary Domain, or maybe more Monkey Island or Valheim again. <coughs> yeah, I'm up, uh, I'm up for either. But for now, of course, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then... Be safe, everyone. Watch out for seagulls. <laughs> uh, definitely. Elaine should do that more as well now. Yeah.